हेलो आई एम मिसेस गीता जुंजुरवार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड साइंसेस वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक वर्ड फॉर्मेशन मैकेनिज्म इन इंग्लिश ग्रामर एंड दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट so learning outcome at the end of this session student will be able to understand word formation mechanism effectively now in this session i will discuss about the last two word formation processes and that is derivation and back formation so derivation in linguistics derivation is the process of forming a new word from an existing words by adding a prefix or suffix derivation is the most common process of forming a new word by means of affixation so let us first discuss what is the meaning of affixation take a pause think about this question and try to give the answer so affixation affixation is linguistics process that speakers use to form different words by adding morphemes at the beginning that is called as a prefixation in the middle that is called infixation or at the end that is suffixation affixation consists in adding derivational affixes to root words to form new words they are classified according to the position or the function in the word or phrase so derivation is accomplished by the use of affixes and these are the three types of affixes so first one is prefix now we will discuss about what is prefixes so prefixes are bound morphemes that are added in the beginning of a word prefix is an affix which is placed before the stem of a word adding to the beginning of one word changes it into another word and the example is when the prefix un is added to the word happy it creates the word unhappy these are some of the common prefixes that post mortem or post script even we can Uh, use this pre pro or sub so these are the various examples of prefixes now see prefixes and their meaning the prefixes have their own meaning so this chart it will show the meaning of the prefixes so the example one example i'll take it here un un means not opposite of so here i have given so many examples of a prefix and their meaning so go through it the second affixation is infixes infixes are inserted in the middle part of the word and are relatively 
rare in English. But you can find them in the plural forms of some words. And the example is cup full or spoon full, passer by. These words can be pluralized as cups full, spoons full and passers by. Here we are using S as an infix. Some combined words like mother-in-law by joining infixes we can do it as mothers-in-law. Here we are joining these affixes in the middle part. The third one is suffixes. A letter or group of letters that you add at the end of a word and that changes the meaning of the word or the way it is used is called a suffix. The examples are the original word is used and we are adding suffixes so the word will be useful or useless. The second one is comfort. So comfortable we can add suffixes to this word and it is created as comfortable. So here are some of the words added by suffixes. So painful, fearful, then closeness, then quietness, sadly, fearless, jobless. So these are the some of the examples of suffixes. Go through all these examples. In linguistics, a suffix Sometimes term postfix, postfix is an affix which is placed after the stem of a word. So common examples are case endings which indicate the grammatical case of noun or adjectives and verb ending which form the Conjugation of verbs. Now the suffixes and their meanings. So every suffix has their own meaning. So H that is the meaning is a result and the example is wreckage. Then ant a person assistant A N T. So all these are the suffixes, their meaning and these are the examples by adding suffixes. The next verb formation process is back formation. Back formation results when a word is formed from another word by taking off what looks like a typical affix in the language. It is a process of creating new forms by removing affixation from the existing words. In other words, back formation is the opposite of derivation. So here are some of the examples of back formation. A noun enters the language first and then a verb is back formed from it. And the examples are editor and the back formation is edit. The second example is diagnosis. From this word we have made the back formation diagnose. Third example is television. And the back formation is televised. Here are the more examples of back formation. The babysitter, babysit, 
then donation donate gamble gambler so these are some of the examples of back formation so go through all these examples these are the references and i have used these references to create my ppt so go through these references thank you once again thank you